On the call this morning, U.S. futures remain mixed despite positive earnings from Baidu and Broadcom. Netflix falls nearly 10% in extended trading on disappointing earnings that missed estimates. And the U.S. dollar sinks to all-time lows against the Swiss franc as fierce debate over dueling plans from congressional leaders sends the cost of insuring U.S. debt against default soaring to a 17-month high. I'm Alex Steele, and the morning call starts right now. Good morning. <laughs> we, Late good morning, Scott. Yes, we, we haven't been together in like a week, both on vacation, so I was trying to figure out what camera to look that at. That camera right there. That camera right there. <laughs> anyway, uh, good morning. My name is Scott Redler, Chief Strategic Officer with T3 Live, and welcome to today's morning call. And I'm Alex Steele with The Street. All right, Scott, let's get right to it. So, markets looking to, to open kind of mix this morning, and I wanted to get your take because I feel like the market action is telling us that, you know, default's not going to happen. What do you think? I've been trying to hold a, a portfolio of longs, mm -hmm. the, the best acting stocks out there. They've been on my virtual trading floor. And it was a little tough yesterday because I wasn't here. And you know, you saw that a uh, deal didn't happen over the weekend. We were down 10, 12 handles. So I'm like, oh my goodness, what do I have to do here? And those that stuck to their guns and added to positions got a little, a little rewarded yesterday because the market didn't fall apart. We were down, but we held in there very well. And today, even with the president's mm -hmm, uh, mm -hmm. big speech yesterday saying how very fear-mongering if you will actually yeah it, it, that, that really upsets me the, the the type of action we're seeing on Washington right now is horrendous it's like a circus and all they want to do is is not breed confidence into the American people that have been trying to get more confident ever since that huge decline back in 2007 so with that said I feel like the markets are taking it in stride and if we take a look at the spiders I'll show you what I mean if you look here on the spiders, you will see this is the, the move that ignited over July 4th weekend. We're right around there. Here was your nice pull in to test it. Then we had another additional move. And now, even with all of the hoopla coming out of Washington and all of the, the words they're using, like Armageddon, you know, whatever, <laughs> we're, we're close to making new highs here. So, But doesn't that make you nervous? Because if we do see some kind of default, that's not being priced in right now. So how would you be protecting yourself in case we don't hold those levels and there is some disastrous news next week? Well, you can buy some VIX. You could buy mm -hmm. some in-the-money calls if you're an investor. I do think that if we don't get some type of decision, it's going to be quick and fierce. So you better be ready to pull the plug quick. And right now, I do probably have a little bit more risk than I should considering it. But in my mind, I do think they're going to get something done. And then we'll have to see how the market reacts there. But as of right now, as long as the market's behaving well, I'm going to stick with the trend. And the trend right now is buying the best stocks that have been having good earnings with the right price. And right now with the indices, I'm long some spiders. And if we can start to see a move above this area here on the chart of about, uh, what is this, about 134.50, I think we get a move back to the high that we put in in July of 135. What's that high there? It is 135.70. And then we probably take out the, the highs of the year in August. Let's just get this out of the way. Let's let Washington start doing you know, the work of the people versus just getting their name on record on what they think will help them in the next election.